Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Let's open up. Let's get started. Let's open up to what we're going to read for the prayer meeting tonight. Let's open up to the prayer requests I have. Let's see here. Okay. Brother Boyce Moses, punctual as always. <laughs> Light us up. Yes. That I shall do, my friend. That I shall do. All glory to God. Alrighty. I also have the prayer request you mentioned for Miami, my friend. So, do not worry. We'll be definitely be praying that tonight. Uh, let's just wait for a couple more people to join in and we will get started. Alright, cool. Hopefully, this time around, this live stream will actually save... Unfortunately, my last uh, live stream did not save, which was kind of a bummer, but it's okay. All glory to God anyways. Hey, Artunes guy, what's going on? Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, prayer. There's my wife. Nine prayers written down. I have for tonight. And then whatever prayers you guys got, I'll, I'll throw that in the mix too. And let's see where the Lord leads us on the night. All right. Is it better like this? Yeah. Okay. Man, the beard is getting a little out of hand. I'm not going to lie. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. To the prayer meeting. situated in our intercessory prayer for the evening a necessary uh, component to the Christian life is to pray for one another amen and we shall do that Let's get started. We'll just uh, go ahead with what we're going to read for tonight. Just to start us off in our prayers, uh, we're going to go into Psalms 23, verse 5 and 6. Praise report you prayed for my wife Peggy last week for her medical procedure. She came through with flying colors. Doctor says she looks great. She said she looks great in this issues. Great, she looks. I want to. I want to say she looks great pertaining to those issues. Maybe that's what you meant. But I got you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. Praise the Lord indeed. One second, guys. One second. Hold on. That's awesome, man. Sorry, just had to close my. Uh, father in law's door. Alright, so Psalms 23, verse 5 and 6. That is the uh, set of prayer verses for the night. That's that's what I'm going to be uh, going in the spirit in. That, that's, the, that's the verses that, that God is placing in my heart for us to read for the night. So here we go. Uh, you prepare before me. Uh, uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's amazing. And I think that's perfect for our prayers for the night. It is the reminder that... 
God, he specifically uh, locates his table for his children in the midst of demons, in the midst of enemies, in the midst of persecution. He, he purposely and, and perfectly places his the table of uh, God's banquet in the midst of trouble and persecution. And on top of that, surely this is a confirmation. This is this is not only David saying this, this is what we should be saying in our walk to have a confidence, right? In our prayers, confidence in our walk with the Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is ultimately how every Christian should um, aspire to think in that in that confidence in the Lord, that, that, that rock solid faith, knowing that God is in full control, knowing that all things are going to work out for his good and glory. Amen. Okay, so let's get started. Our first prayer, this is a repeat prayer that I'll be doing every single uh, prayer meeting going forward. It is a prayer for my two nephews, Carlos and Isaac, and also to pray for my brother-in-law, Guillermo, um, to come to Christ. That is a praise, prayer request that I'll be praying at the beginning of every prayer meeting. So just want to let you get that situated. And here we go. Let's pray. Almighty Lord, Father of the heavens and the earth, the one who created the universe by your own means, Lord, I speak to you humbly, and I approach your throne humbly as a servant, but I thank you, Lord, that you acknowledge me as your son alongside your sons and daughters here in this prayer meeting. Father God, I just ask for your spirit to dwell in the midst of this prayer meeting. Although this is a virtual space, let us transcend into the spiritual realm where we will take these prayers to the altar of thanksgiving and, and thanksgiving and honor to your most precious name. Father, I lift up to you three very important people in my life. Uh, my nephews, Carlito and Isaac, and my beloved brother-in-law, uh, Guillermo. Father God, I just ask, Lord, first and foremost for their protection. I ask first and foremost for their eyes to be open to the free gift of salvation that is presented to them, Lord. I pray, Lord, that they will hear the words of the gospel. I pray seeds would be sown into the depths of their heart, that it will dramatically and radically transform their very lives and beings to become warriors and soldiers of Christ Jesus. Father God, I just ask humbly in prayer that, Lord, you will lift these three men up to your throne in supplication and requests and petitions with me with thanksgiving and praise. Lord, I just I just thank you so much that not only did I have the opportunity to meet all three of these, these young men, I mean, sorry, these men, I also have the opportunity to pray for them and pray before you and intercede for them, Father God. It is an honor and absolute privilege to pray for my family, to pray for my brother-in-law, Guillermo, to pray for my nephews, Carlito and Isaac. Lord, I pray that they will come to the foot of the cross, seeking you in the fullness of your splendor and glory. Hallelujah. Seeking your treasures that cannot be found elsewhere, only in your word, only in you, only in the presence of God. God Almighty, thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity to glorify you in the midst of requests. This is what it means to be a son of the Most High God. It is to understand that this goes beyond our own capabilities. It goes beyond our own understanding. It goes beyond our own um, ability to ascertain the request of an answered prayer. Lord, I thank you in humbleness and humility. I cloak myself in your righteousness. Father, I operate in your spirit. Please, God, I pray and intercede for these three men that they will receive your free gift of salvation. Hallelujah. Father God, speak through uh, each one of us, Lord, tonight. Not let my voice be the one praying tonight, although I am on the camera. Lord, let my brothers and sisters also pray and intercede in the spiritual realm that we may do battle with the enemy tonight in Jesus' almighty name. Amen and amen. Awesome. 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 All right. Let's uh, keep on going. 
that is definitely a beautiful praise report. Thank you, brother, uh, our tunes for allowing us to witness that truth. That is awesome. It's always good to give glory to God in the midst of praise reports, in the midst of unanswered prayers. It's always good to glorify the Father. Um, next prayer, the next couple of prayers is going to be for my brother, Evan. Brother Evan is from India. He has a friend. Their name is Anjali. Anjali has just recently come to Christ. Hallelujah. What a precious, precious honor it is to pray for a new believer in Jesus Christ. So he's asking humbly if we could pray for his 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 friend, uh, Anjali, who just came to Christ Jesus uh, not too long ago. So we're going to lift that person up in prayer to prepare them for what is to come. Um, as everyone here knows that when you first come to Christ, there is a sense of jubilation and joy that is unmatched, unmerited. But as you walk farther and closer with God, obviously the devil is not going to just let you have that peace. He will come and you also need to be sharpened by the trials and the, the purifying fire of God. So let's pray for Anjali that he, will, he or she will not turn from the faith when things get a little rough or when things are getting... Um, a bit difficult in the walk so please let's lift up unjolly here we go heavenly father almighty christ jesus lord i speak truth in these prayers lord i'm willing to intercede for these people i am willing to go the distance in the depths that are needed to take these prayers father god i do not do this for my own glory i don't do this for my self-satisfaction i could care less of self i care more about what you think and what you desire father so i just pray and hope and plead that unjolly will continue to seek you daily Every single day, every single hour, every single second, I pray Anjali will go into their Bibles and read your scriptures every single day, every single hour, every single minute, nurturing and soaking up the precious, precious words that you have through your scriptures, the words of, of exhortation, words of fear, healthy uh, uh, fear of you, Lord, that, that the perfect reverence that is desired by you, Lord, that we can lift up to the throne of grace of reverence, a deep respect for your power, and also a fear of your capabilities of just wiping out the, the people of the face of this earth, Lord, that is a healthy dosage of fear. I pray that over Anjali. I pray wisdom and discernment. I pray the words will come alive as he or she is partaking of scripture daily, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for my brother Evan, allowing us to pray for his friend. Lord, it is an honor, a blessing, and a privilege to pray for a new believer in Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter if I never met that person in my life. All that matters is, Lord, that another soul has been added to the body of Christ. Another soul has been added into the Lamb's Book of Life. Another soul that you already know who it was going to be. But we, Lord, are just coming to this realization. As my brother Evan just explained that this person recently come, came to the foot of the cross. And it's amazing, Lord, I just prayed for my brother in-law and my two nephews and now i'm praying for someone that just came Whew, holy spirit ah thank you lord thank you jesus that is awesome you allow me to pray for someone that is that i'm desiring for them to come to christ and now i'm praying for someone that just came to christ lord it is not a coincidence one after the other there is a beautiful transition lord because that that is what's to be expected when we pray when we intercede when we fast for our family and our friends and our loved ones lord it does not mean every single person is going to come to christ by our prayers but it does mean lord that we have the opportunity to pray for our family that is a privilege Hallelujah. It is an absolute privilege, an absolute privilege to pray for these people. Lord, I lift up Anjali once more to the throne of grace, Lord, that they will put on their full armor of God. They will put on the full, perfect, and complete armor that you give and bestow upon your children. Hallelujah. That armor, Lord, that allows us to take it up with the enemy, allows us to take rank against the spirits and demons that fight our families. It take, allows us to take rank and take, and take up the banner of Christ Jesus, to stand in the army of God, to fight and intercede on the behalf of our families, to fight against our own flesh, fight against our own desires, our wicked ways, Lord. And it allows us to do battle and to wage war. Hallelujah. I pray for Anjali for a spirit to grow in that person, Lord. I pray for a spiritual backbone that they will not toss to and fro from man's doctrine. I pray they will seek the truth and the word of God. Hallelujah. And I pray this in your precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's keep on trucking. Here we go. Next prayer. From Brother Evan is a prayer for his brother. Brother, it's either a prayer for his cousin 
or pray for his brother, but I have the name. Pray for Relton, R-E-L-T-O-N, Relton's marriage. Brother Evan is asking us for intercede for that marriage. That marriage is breaking apart. That marriage is not on firm ground. That marriage is is struggling. It is in chaos. It is in it's in a very bad in the place right now. And Brother Evan is asking if we can if we can intercede on the behalf of marriage of Relton. Relton is the name. Here we go. Hallelujah, Lord. We know marriage. It is a picture an image of jesus and the church hallelujah a marriage between a man and a wife is the perfect uh, it is a representation of your perfect relationship between yourself and your children Whew. let's get deep tonight holy spirit let's get deep tonight let's get into the thick of it father god please open my mouth that the prayers of the saints will be effective tonight hallelujah i do not need nothing else but you father god please but I pray in the name of Jesus over this marriage right now, Father God, that they will be touched by your hands. Marriage is an image of Jesus and the church. Marriage is an image of the Father and, and just admiring, um, admiring his creation that now is coming to Christ. I pray over this marriage that the devil will not have his way with this marriage. I pray right now against his plans. I pray right now right against those spirits and demons. I pray right now against the flesh of Relton and his wife, Lord, the contentions between one another. Let there not be a wedge between one another, Father God. Let their doors be open to one another, that they're ready to receive one another in faith. I pray over their salvation if they're not saved yet, Father God. I pray let that the man, Relton, would lead his household. Hallelujah. I pray his wife, Lord, will be the nurturer and protector of her child, of their children, Father God, if they have children, Father God. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that they will follow the succession of the perfect order that you have in family. First Christ as the head, then the father, uh, then the husband, then the wife, then the children. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray that that model will be represented beautifully in this family, Lord. There is restoration to be had. Hallelujah. There is a, a foundation to be found. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a there is a Lord that they will seek. Hallelujah. There is a reason why we're praying for these people, Lord, because when you ask us to pray and we get in the word and we pray by faith and we move through the power of the Holy Spirit, things happen in the spiritual realm, not because of what I'm doing, not because of what my brothers and sisters are doing. It's because of you, Lord. It is in accordance to your will that these things will be ascertained. These things will be accomplished because it brings you glory. Hallelujah. I want to bring you glory tonight. Hallelujah. I want to bring your throne glory. I want the angels. I want to join alongside the angels that are praising you right now, Father God. I pray over this marriage in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that they will be set free from the bondage, be set free from any distraction, to be set free from any distancing, distancing from one another. I pray that they'll be together united you say when we are married two becomes one flesh i pray brother i pray over relton right now and then his wife will become one flesh in christ jesus alone hallelujah i thank you lord for this prayer and i'm ready for the next one let's go and i pray this in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah next prayer it is for prayer uh another prayer from evan uh this prayer it's by the person by the name of Abe L. Roy. Uh, they have recently just came out of the Catholic belief. So we're praying for this person that they will be encouraged to seek Jesus as it is shown in Scripture. Not through doctrine, not through man's doctrine, through truth. The biblical doctrine that is represented that Jesus is God in the flesh that Jesus is our Lord and Savior and he is all we need we do not need to work for our salvation it is a free gift that has been given by God himself so we're going to pray for Ayib Elroy he has just gotten out of the Catholic belief and now he's going to go and pray that we pray that he goes into the truth and seeks Jesus for real and seeks Jesus not through a man not through a priest but by through the word of God hallelujah let's go Excuse me. Hallelujah. Father God, I lift up to you. Ayib El Roy. I lift up to you this person right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you first and foremost. I have nothing against the Catholic religion or the Catholic belief. What I am against is that they are promoting a false doctrine. I do not have anything against those people. I have nothing against 
flesh and blood, Lord. And I pray this over my brothers and sisters as well. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, Father God. So we have no issue with the Catholics. The thing is, Lord, that they're teaching a false doctrine. They're not reading the scriptures at verbatim. They're pulling out works, a works-based salvation. So, Lord, I just pray and intercede for this person, Aib El Roy, that they will come out of this Catholic Church and come into the Word of God. I just pray that they will just seek you. I pray they will just come into prayer and just seek you on their own. No infiltration, no, no, no perversions, no whispering in the ear, just pure, unfiltered, raw truth that you are the only way, Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by you, Jesus Christ. I pray over this person that they will be encouraged to seek your scripture. This word, the Bible itself, is a weapon against our flesh. It is a weapon against Satan and his, and his lackeys. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that this person will receive this prayer tonight and they will go into your word tonight and they will seek you on their knees tonight and receive your salvation tonight, Father God. They will not only leave the Catholic religion, but they will step into a newness of a relationship with you, Father God, that is better than anything this world can provide, that is better than anything this world can offer, better than anything the devil can whip up in his limited frame and mindset. I pray and plead over Aib El Rayoi that they will go to the Father. Hallelujah. They will go straight to the source. Not through man, not through a priest, not through anything but Lord, but through you, through you and through your scripture, through you, Jesus Christ. I pray and plead, Lord, that they will seek you fullness in the fullness of their heart and in the honest, honest desire to seek the truth, Father God, because your truth is the truth. Your truth is the only truth. And I praise you, Lord, for it. I praise you, Lord, for this Bible. I praise you, Lord, for this scripture that we are allowed to read in our native tongue. I pray over Aib El Rayoi that they will be able to read scripture in their native tongue. No filter, no perversion, no leaking into the ear, no whispering in the ear door. Just close their ears off to anyone else but you. Let them seek you as Paul saw you for three days when he was blind. He fasted and prayed all that time. I pray this person will not be not be blind blinded by this garbage but they said there'll be the eyes will be open so we see the truth that is your gospel hallelujah and i pray this in your precious name amen and amen yes lord yes lord hallelujah i am ready i'm not loud tonight because i got my kids sleeping but i am ready to pray and intercede adventures in london you have joined welcome sister we're gonna pray now um for a beloved sister, um, I don't want to say her name. She's trying to keep that uh, that situation private, but she is asking for prayer. Um, she's going through a very rough situation uh, pertaining to uh, a possible pregnancy. Um, I don't want again. I don't want to elaborate on her name, but the Lord knows her name. Um, but she is asking for prayer, guys. So let's just go in the spirit. Let's pray for the sister. She is going through a very very difficult time in her. Uh, a possible pregnancy and she's just asking God to bless her, uh, her, her, her her womb that that baby will grow it's very early in the pregnancy but she's asking God for a miracle so we're going to pray for a miracle tonight right now I need you to join alongside me I don't care if you don't think you got it in you I don't care if you've never prayed with in, a, in another person or with whatever I want you to trust in God tonight Trust in God tonight and say, God, I want to pray for the sister. I want to believe in faith. Let's act out in faith and allow God to do his will, regardless if he says yes or no. I want to pray in faith. I'm asking you as a brother. I'm asking you, please join alongside me. Not only for this prayer, of course, for all the rest as well, and including the ones that we just did. But I'm just asking if you please join alongside me in this prayer. Hallelujah. Here we go. Father God, I come before your throne of grace. I plead the blood over this sister right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Right now, I place my hands in the spiritual. I don't care how stupid I look. I place my hands in the spiritual, Lord, and I take this prayer to the spiritual realm. I pray right now over my sister's womb as if my hand is... Oh, Holy Spirit, I am... Oh, I need to lower my voice, but Lord, I am ready to go there. 
I pray as if my own hands and the hands of my brothers and sisters are literally over my sister's womb right now, Lord. I am praying and pleading for a miracle baby right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this baby grow and flourish in this sister's womb. I am praying and pleading right now in the name of Jesus as my hand, as if it was physically over her womb. I am praying the blood of Christ upon this child, Lord, and if it's in your will. If it is in your will for your children right now to pray over the sister for this baby to be born at a later date, of course, Lord, because it's very early in the pregnancy, I just thank you, Jesus, that we could be a part of this plan, Lord. But if you say no, it's fine by me because it is your will be done, not my will. I'm not going to convince you, Lord. I'm not going to persuade you. I only want to do is come in agreement in faith, trusting in your perfect and sovereign plan. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that my hands and the hands of my brothers and sisters will be upon the sister's womb and it will that baby will flourish in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I pray right now and plead the blood upon that child Lord that let the enemy not have his way Lord uh, uh, Lord of course you are sovereign and you already know what the enemy is going to do beforehand Father God but I just pray a hedge of protection upon my sister Lord the enemy is going to try and trifle and mess with her mind and tell her lies and whisper it lies into her ear but Lord we know that we serve a God that is fully in control we serve a God that is good righteous and holy and just Lord I pray and plead the blood over this womb Lord you say that sh you uh, you pers you pr provide us a table. You present us a table in the midst of our enemies. You provide us a table in the exact location where our enemies are residing. Lord, you are showing us that it is the point of a child a child of God to be persecuted. But it does not mean that we need to stray away from the table. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that my sister will sit at the table of the banquet that you have provided. Hallelujah, Lord. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. I pray my sister will be upon that banquet nourishing on her spirit with love peace joy uh, 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 peace, joy, patience, love, uh, loving kindness, Lord. I pray meekness and humility and faith and self control to be upon her countenance right now in the name of Jesus. I pray over her husband in the name of Jesus Christ that he will pray over his wife, Lord. He is not saved. I'm praying for salvation for this man, Lord, that he will pray over his wife. And, and this will be the oh, thank you, Jesus. This is what I'm talking about, Holy Spirit. Let me not quench you right now. I'm praying that this will be an opportunity for her husband to see that there is a God in heaven who hears prayers, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that her husband would open his lips and confess that Jesus is Lord and say, if you are real, please let this child live. If you are real, Father God, let me see it in your scripture. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that this man will get on his knees and cry out to the Father in heaven and plead on the behalf of his child that is in his wife's womb. Hallelujah. I'm praying right now for this family. Let this family will flourish and grow and to be the family of Christ that you have called it to be, Father God. But I, I I am praying and I am pleading, Father God, in faith. I trust in you. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It is awesome to be filled with your spirit, not just in the moments, every single day, Lord, every single moment. And that's one of my prayers for tonight, to be constantly filled with the spirit. But Lord, I just pray over my sister in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, she will be just fine. Whatever happens, if the baby comes, if the baby doesn't come, I pray, Lord, she will be just fine because she will trust in her father who knows all things and all things that you know lord are for your good and glory and i pray this in jesus name amen and amen yes guys yes awesome 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 i'm gonna be texting sister christina tonight i'm gonna let her know that we prayed a fire prayer for her and her family i am i'm definitely texting her after this this live stream i want to let her know that that god is good and he, he is in full control. Amen? Okay. Next prayer is for a sister by the name of Raina. Um, she has joined on multiple streams. Uh, she is a beloved sister. Um, she's always asking for prayer, always giving sound advice. Um, and I just want to, she's just asking for prayer. She is going through some very heavy spiritual warfare very heavy oppression from the enemy you know when the enemy's just throwing his darts and he's not stopping um so we're just gonna pray for sister reina right now in the name of jesus that she will be um in peace in the midst of her enemies huh oh no 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 oh oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah yep yep okay uh i'm gonna be we're gonna be praying for this sister right now uh praying for 
protection, hedge of protection for spiritual warfare, and also for her to be battle-hardened um, for the warfare that she is facing. Amen? Okay, here we go. Father God, I just thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity, Lord, to pray in the spiritual. Lord, I lift up to you a warrior in Christ Jesus, a prayer warrior, Lord. Um, I thank you so much for allowing me to hear her prayers in the prayer meetings that we used to have in the Cross for Christ Ministries. Lord, I just thank you, Jesus, that I'm still able to fellowship with her, Lord, and pray for her as she prays for me. I lift her up to the throne of grace, Lord, as she is facing some heavy combat from the enemy. I just thank you, Jesus, that that is the case for Christians to face heavy combat. But Lord, as it says in scriptures, once more, there is no coincidence, Lord. I do not believe in coincidence. There is no coincidence that, Lord, that you place a table directly in front of the enemy's eyes. Oh, I can't wait for this prayer. This prayer is going to be so good. I thank you, Jesus, that I am able, and my sister Raina is able, and my wife, and all my brothers and sisters watching this, that we can sit and partake of the delicious, delicious cuisine that you presented on this, on this, on this beautiful table, and I can sit here in your peace, in your presence. In the fullness of your glory and splendor. My sister Raina, this is for you. I'm praying for you right now. This is the spiritual right now. I pray that my sister Raina will take a seat, sit down, allow herself to partake of this delicious spiritual nourishment that, Lord, that only you can provide. I pray, Lord, as she's eating of your spiritual nourishment, that she can look in the eyes of her enemies, look into the eyes of her demons, look into the eyes of the devil himself, and laugh and be joyful and full of glee, knowing that they have to watch your children partake of this delicious supper that is constantly available to all your children at every single given moment that we ever go through a trial or go through a trouble or through a persecution or tribulation i always can remember that my sister reina alongside myself and everyone else here we can partake of your nourishment every single time and i could do it in the midst of my enemies i could do it in the midst of monitoring spirits that are watching me daily in the midst of monitoring spirits who are watching my sister daily and then my brothers and sisters daily we can eat from the table of God, he, you are the perfect and good host that allows us to be anointed with oil, Lord. You, you address our wounds and you allow us to have a fragrance upon us, Lord. The life and the joy that you give us, even in the midst of troubles, in the midst of, perf of, pur of purifying our hearts and, and, and getting rid of those unwanted desires and unwanted sins, Lord. You have given us reassurance that you are fully in control. You purposely put us in front of our enemies so they may see exactly what is on my plate. They can see exactly what is on my sister Raina's plate and they can look there and they can be they can be intimidating. The devil can even show his sharp fangs or whatever he looks like because we know he's not some some um, being looking like, like he's full of red. We know that he is a fallen angel. He's probably looking like a, a human being or whatever his countenance is. He's a spirit. But I thank the Lord Jesus Christ that he has to look at what I have in my plate. Yes, when I mess up, when my sister Raina messes up, you have given her grace. When my sister Raina messes up, you have given her grace. When my sister Raina messes up, you have given her favor because she is your child. My brothers and sisters here are your children. I am your child, Lord, and I thank you, Jesus, that we can show to the enemy's face that he can never, ooh, Holy Spirit, speak through me tonight. The enemy can look at my plate and he will never, ever, 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 ever take away what you have prepared on this table tonight hallelujah and every single night into eternity to come father god i thank you jesus that i could sit here and enjoy this banquet that i'm having with my brothers and sisters in the spiritual realm and the enemy has to look at me while i eat and does not make me feel uncomfortable and in fact makes me laugh because the enemy cannot take away what's in front of me because lord you put out the plates Oh, Holy Spirit, speak through me tonight. Hallelujah. You put out the place, Father God. You anoint our heads with oil. You are putting a beautiful presentation of what it means to be a child of God. These are kingdom perks. And I am willing to pray and intercede in my sister that she will be battle-hardened for the next trial that comes, Lord. That she will be battle-hardened for the next valley that comes, Lord. But in order to get to the next mountaintop, Lord, she needs to get through this valley. And once she gets through this valley, she's going to go back up on the mountaintop, Father God. 
And then when that time comes, she's going to go back down into the valley, Father God. But the best thing is that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So I pray over my sister that she knows this and she will trust you in this. And she will not leave her worries at this current time. Let it, let it be a fleeting moment. Let it be a fleeting understanding because, Lord, we need to keep our eyes on the things eternal because these things that are happening in the world are temporary. What I'm going through right now is temporary. What my sister Raina is going through right now is temporary. What my brothers and sisters are going through right now is temporary. My wife is going through is temporary. But we need to keep our eyes on things eternal. Hallelujah. We need to keep our eyes on things eternal, Lord, because I cannot wait to do this for the rest of eternity in front of your splendor and glory. And I pray this in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Oh, she oh, welcome. Welcome everybody. Here we go. Here we go. We're going full full throttle tonight. Hallelujah. Okay. Next prayer is for the ministry, the Arbored Ephesians ministry and for the body of Christ. This is my own personal prayer that I want to do on the live stream, okay? And then I have two more, and then um, let me just keep an eye on the time. Oh, it's already 30 minutes. Okay, here we go. Uh, I want to pray for the Armored Ephesians ministry. I want to pray for the body of Christ. I want to pray, and this is going to go coincide with the next one, which is prayer for daily filling of the Holy Spirit. Daily. I'm talking about to the, to the cup, to the, to the brim of the cup, that, our, that, it, that God is filling us up so much that... The countenance on our bodies is just overflowing. I want us to overflow tonight that we can we could pour into our brothers and sisters that are struggling, that we could pour into those that are lost. We could pour into our families, pour into our children. I, I'm going to pray for us right now in the spirit that we're, our cups will be so overflowing that it's just seeping out. Just joy of the Lord is seeping out. The presence of God is seeping out. That's that's my prayer for tonight. That is something that has been in my heart since since I wrote this down in this prayer journal. Here we go. Father God, I thank you. I have to repeat Psalms 23, verse 5 and 6, because this prayer, this verses are so powerful tonight. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father God, I lift up to you my the ministry you have played before. Father God, speak through me. I am ready. I'm ready, Lord. Let's go. I lift up to you the ministry that you have placed in my hands, Father God. I lift up to you the 10 members in this ministry, including uh, oh, plus my wife and myself, Lord, making a total of 12 members in this ministry. I lift up every single brother and sister in this ministry, Father God. I lift up every single person, every brother, every sister in this ministry, Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray over brother Evan. I pray over brother Andre. I pray over sister Kathleen, sister Makta, sister Cushy. I pray over sister Millie, sister Sev, sister Shailene right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray over my wife. I pray over myself in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Let this ministry continue to flourish. Father, I pray and plead, man. Father God, speak through me, Holy Spirit. I want to be filled to the brim. Father, I lift my hands up for my brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray over them, Lord, that each and every single one of them, Lord, will be filled with the Spirit continuously. Not just one time, not just a past experience. I pray that they will be filled with the Spirit overflowing continuously on a daily basis. This is the Armored Ephesians ministry. I am pouring my Spirit into this prayer right now because, Lord, I know what it means. I'm, you have shown me the keys. You have shown me how it means to be a leader and to be a shepherd to the sheep lord i pray right now over these sheep lord i pray over my wife right now lord i pray right now in the name of jesus christ lord that this ministry will flourish i don't care if nobody else joins i just care that these brothers and sisters will be nourished by your spirit daily father god i pray right now over my brothers and sisters hallelujah lord that you will please fill their hearts father god please lord you will trust in them lord the plans that you have prepared in each of their lives father god i thank you jesus for every single member in my ministry father god i thank you lord for my wife who is in this ministry father god i thank you jesus for these people that you have allowed for me to have as 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 sheep and for and allow me to be a shepherd to these sheep father god because i am no one without you you are the king shepherd you are the good good shepherd please lord use me as it pleases you father god i am an open vessel my wife is an open vessel teach us to lead this ministry where you want it to go father god whatever bible studies whatever prayer meetings that you want us to do father god, let it be done in your name i lift these people up in this precious precious name of jesus hallelujah 
Lord, I also lift up the body of Christ, Lord, because this ministry is not, it's, it's not separated. This is within the body, Lord. I lift up every single brother and sister in the body of Christ, including the ones that are here right now, Father God. I lift up Brother Boyce. I lift up uh, Brother John, I believe, our tunes, God. I lift up Sister Jessica, uh, uh, Adventures in London. I lift up my sister Christina, my wife, Lord. I lift them up. And anyone else that's joining, I don't know, I can't see the screen right now, but anyone else that's joining, I lift up these brothers and sisters in the faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that they will be filled to the brim. Let their cups overflow. Let you anoint their heads with oil. Hallelujah. Let them be filled with the Spirit of God, that it will be so over their countenance, Father God, that their family will see the difference in their face. They will see the difference in their countenance. They will see the difference in their walk, that they will know that that person is filled with the Spirit of God upon their hearts. Hallelujah. That they will walk in boldness and courageousness and truth and the strength of God, that we are weak, but you are strong. Let your will be done, not ours. I pray over them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray over every single brother and sister in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that they will walk in the truth of God. They will walk the narrow path. Surely, hallelujah, speak through me, Holy Spirit. Surely, mercy and grace will follow me all the days of my life, and I should dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will repeat that again, Father God. That is for my brothers and sisters tonight. Surely, not sometimes, not maybe, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord not one day not two days forever that is for my brothers and sisters tonight whoever is doubting right now in the name of Jesus I pray that they will have assurance and knowing that they will dwell in the house of the Lord forever I'm praying for those that are doubting their salvation right now in the name of Jesus Christ let them know that there's an assurance of salvation granted upon them right now in the name of Jesus Christ if any brothers and sisters thinks they can't pray right now I pray right now in the name of Jesus that they know that the prayer language that we have before you Father God it is nothing nothing uh, intellectual it has nothing to do with smarts it has to do everything with the posture of the heart when our heart is in the perfect position for praying lord that is when you activate us that is when you speak through us because lord all it requires is an obedience because obedience means more to you than sacrifice that's why you love king david so much because he knew what it means to be obedient to you, father god yes he struggled and he messed up and he sinned greatly before you but he knew that he needed to get on his knees and repent that's why psalms 23 is such a powerful set of verses because he knew that he will be followed by mercy and grace all the days of his life he knew that you will be with him all the days of his life and i'm praying that over my brothers and sisters that they know that you will be with them all the days of your life because they are sheep and they need the good shepherd hallelujah they are sheep and they need the good shepherd who lays his life down for the sheep because your sheep know your voice we don't know no other hallelujah i pray discernment upon my brothers and sisters that they will hear no other voice but the shepherds hallelujah lord we are blind lead us by the still waters lead us by the green pastures father god make us lie down in great green pastures lord lead us and lay us down lord put us to rest when we are too busy doing other things than than the reading the word and meditating in your scripture lay us down father god when we're too busy and occupied with worldly things lay us down and remember that we are we are in the company of the father in heaven we are in the company of the holy spirit we are in the company of the shepherd which is jesus christ hallelujah lord lead us by the still waters rejuvenate our spirits tonight father god hallelujah rejuvenate our souls tonight father god hallelujah that we may walk in agreement with you holy spirit and i pray this in jesus precious name amen and amen wow awesome 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 i'm blown away right now god is so good all right uh last prayer that i have on this list of course if you have any more i would love to pray for you um, it's an absolute honor to pray for you guys. But last prayer is from Brother Boyce Moses. He wants us to pray for the victims. Um, uh, something happened in Miami where a building collapsed. And we're going to be praying for the victims of that building collapse in Miami. Praying for shelter. Praying for food. Praying for the peace of the Lord to be upon them. Um, praying for angels to minister to God's children uh, over there in Miami pertaining to this building collapse. So we're going to pray that uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Here we go. Hallelujah. Father God, I just thank you first and foremost for this prayer request. No, excuse me. This prayer request from my brother Boyce Moses, whom I love dearly, dearly, dearly. Thank you, Lord, for this mentor. Thank you, Lord, for this sword sharpener. Thank you, Lord, for just an amazing friend that is Boyce Moses. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for his life. I thank you, Lord, for his concern for the lost, concern for your sheep. 
Lord, I lift up his prayer request to your throne of grace. I lift up this prayer with supplication and with thanksgiving, Lord, and praising your name. Lord, I pray over every single victim from this building collapse in Miami. Lord, I pray first and foremost for the children, Father God, that they will have shelter tonight. Hallelujah. I'm praying over the parents, Lord, that were in that building, Lord, or if they were near that building. I pray they would have shelter tonight. Hallelujah. In your hands. I pray, Lord, that they will have a meal tonight, Father God, and going forward until things get situated with this building. Lord, I pray, Lord, if there was anyone that was wounded in the midst of this building collapse, Father God, if they're in the if they're in the emergency triage right now in Miami, if they're in the hospital right now in Miami, Lord, I pray, Lord, not only that I thank you, Lord, that they're still alive, but I thank you, Lord, praying for another opportunity for them to come to Christ. Hallelujah. It is never too late. It is never too late when we are still breathing, Lord, but when we take our last breath, that is it. Our eternity is finalized, Lord. I just pray, Lord, if anyone died in the midst of this building collapse, Father God, I pray and plead, Lord, that they did give their lives to you, Jesus. I pray that they did give their lives to you before they took their last breath father god and i pray lord in the name of jesus christ lord that they will that anyone that is currently breathing right now in the midst of miami concerning this building collapse lord that they will know that their life is precious that they will not waste their time on unnecessary things lord i pray they will look into the into the spiritual they, pray they will look into the spiritual things lord into the things eternal into the things of god the word of god the scriptures lord i pray that they will get on their knees and seek you out lord you know you say you, you do all things for your good lord even the plans and the, of the wickedness of the enemy lord even those things that he thinks he's using for evil you turn it around and you use it for good Hallelujah. You have taken so many things in my own personal life, Lord. Something that was bad, something that was messed up and evil, but you used it and you flipped it around. You you covered it with your grace, hallelujah, like a blanket over a cold child. You covered that 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 sin, that 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 mess up, that mistake, that issue, that that problem. You cover it and coated it with your grace and mercy, and you allowed it to be something for your glory. Hallelujah. I pray that this moment and, and this time concerning this event will give you glory, Lord, for those people who have been prayed for. I pray anointing that happen on those people in Miami, Father God, that they will come to the foot of the cross seeking your splendor and your glory. And Lord, and having a a healthy dosage of fear in their heart for the wrath and judgment that is to come, Lord. Because we need both. We need a, a healthy dosage of your mercy and grace and a healthy dosage of your wrath and judgment. But we need both, Lord, to keep us in check, to keep us in balance in the walk of life. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to drink some water. And that is all my prayers for the night. Um, if you have any prayers, I would love to pray for you all. If not, I'll um, just keep on going and close out the one hour mark that we have for tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer for all that are affected by this tragedy. Amen. 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 Yes, absolutely. It is an honor and privilege to um, pray for those that are hurting. Pray for the, for the victims. Pray for the lost. Pray for the body. Pray for family. Pray for friends. Prayer is an absolute necessity in the Christian life. We need to be praying all the time. We've got to be praying. We've got to be on our knees. We've got to be in our prayer closets, seeking the Lord daily, and asking and so and asking and, and, and with for, with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving, remember, let those prayers be made with thanksgiving, because God doesn't owe us a cent. He doesn't owe us anything. Yet the fact that He still hears our prayers is beautiful in its own regard. Amen. 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 God is good, guys. God is good. God is so good. He's amazing. He is wonderful. He is a God to be feared. Right? God to be feared because we know what He is capable of. And that's the beauty of us glorifying Him because we know what He can do. And the fact that He doesn't do it shows His amazing patience, this perfect patience that He has for His children, right? That he, he has the capability of taking our breath away when we mess up. But the fact that he allows us to live in the midst of that, in the midst of that, is insane. Insane. How many times, how many times have we messed up and God has the ability to take away our breath, right? Just take it away and say, that's it. Done. But he allows us to live because he wants our genuine repentance. He wants our genuine obedience. He does not want fake, false 
emotion-based repentance. He wants real, soulful, honest obedience. Even when we mess up. I mess up all the time. But God still uses me. I'm not saying that I'm anyone special. I'm just saying God still uses us. Right? He can use you to reach that specific someone that you know needs prayer or that someone that needs to hear the gospel, right? Just just imagine if we were just confident and trusting in the fact that God can use us, broken people. That is just speaks beautiful of God's absolute sovereignty that he does not need us to be at a specific place to use us. But we can grow in our faith and become spiritual, mature, spiritually mature and capable to glorify Him in the midst of any circumstance, right? That's why it's, I, 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 I read Psalms 23, verse 5 and 6, because that, that, is, that is the verses that is meant for you guys tonight. Psalms 23, verse 5 and 6. I have to read it again because it's so powerful. Don't miss what God is saying here. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Stop. That means you're always in the midst of your enemies. But you are in the midst of God's presence before you're in the midst of your enemy's presence. Hallelujah. You anoint my head with oil. He is covering you with oil. A sense of anointing. A sense of, 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 of power. A sense of healing, right? Your cup overflows. By your cup overflowing, it pours into your brothers and sisters that need it from you, right? That need that help. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Stop. That means, that is a definite yes. Surely, meaning it will definitely happen. Goodness and mercy of God shall follow you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You need to tell that in prayer. You need to relay that information to God. Say, God, I cannot wait to dwell in your house, Lord. I I, I know I will dwell in the house of the, your house of the uh, your your house forever. I will. I I want to be there. That is my goal. That is my that is my destiny. That is my destination. Is to end up in front of you, praising you, glorifying you with the angels and the saints that are already in heaven. Hallelujah. That That is the goal, guys. That is the goal. The goal is to be in the midst of God's presence for all, of all eternity. It doesn't matter what happens next. That is the goal. We are here to, with the little bit limited time that we have, but the ultimate goal is that we've been given a free gift to be in God's presence for the rest of eternity. That is something to praise God for every single day. Every day. Thank you, Jesus, that I know when I die, I stand before you in heaven. And thank you, Jesus, that I know it's not by my own works that I get into heaven, Father God. I thank you, Jesus. It's, it is my you, you you seek my honest, earnest, pure obedience. It is not perfect. It's going to be messy. But, Lord, I give it to you anyways because, Lord, I am not here to make myself look, uh, look good. I'm here to make you look good. I'm here to make you get glory. I'm here for your name's sake. You have... You have created me to give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome. Alrighty, guys. Um, just shy of the hour mark. Next video is going to be on Saturday. We are going to go over Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 26. Continuing with the flesh versus spirit um, concept. Um unfortunately my first corinthians 6 study which was awesome man if anybody's there dude like yeah that, that study was amazing not giving glory to me i'm just saying unfortunately that video did not save on instagram so if you missed that i do apologize i will not repeat again i'm gonna just keep on going as the spirit leads um so saturday at nine o'clock or nine nine thirty i'll decide with my wife um nine nine thirty on saturday we're gonna go over Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 through 26 pertaining to flesh versus spirit okay so that will be my next video um, thank you for joining in thank you for your excuse me support in joining alongside me in prayer and it is awesome to pray with you guys it is awesome to lift up um, uh, supplications to the throne of grace 
it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to do so. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys in prayer. Uh, and I look forward to our next fellowship, which will be on Saturday. Uh, if anyone that's just catching the recording, uh, please know that I have the videos also on YouTube. You can search up the name, the Armored Fusions, Armored Fusions Ministry, and all of our videos are there for your um, your, your your time. You can always watch and watch older stuff that I have up on that channel. And I just want to thank God for the opportunity to lead a ministry. Again, not a big ministry. It's not a big ministry. It's an online ministry. Um, but regardless, glory to God anyways, because I get to do stuff like this. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great night. Um, please remember not just because we're on this live stream that you don't, you don't have to, you don't, you're not able to ask for prayer. You're more than welcome to email me on, on my Instagram bio. I have a direct link uh, to my email that if you need more prayer requests we can add it in for the next one um, so please if you you still need of some prayer please uh, shoot a text my way uh, through the Instagram uh, ministry page all right I love you guys God bless you have a great night read your words stay in scripture meditate on God pray pray seek his face be filled with the spirit constantly don't don't let it be a one-time thing be filled with the spirit daily walk in his presence and I will see you on Saturday. Amen. Take care of my beloved soldiers.